Ever pondered the journey of Macky Sall, the president of Senegal? His story weaves through a tapestry of politics, punctuated by tenacity, vision, and an unyielding commitment to his nation. Born on December 11, 1961, in Fatik, a town nestled in western Senegal, Macky Sall embarked on a life destined to make an indelible mark on his country's political landscape. The son of a state worker and a peanut seller, his humble beginnings never deterred his lofty ambitions. Sal's academic prowess led him to the University of Dakar where he pursued geology and later earth physics, earning a degree in both. His fascination with the earth's dynamics hinted at the profound understanding of the world that would later inform his political ideologies. The year 1983 marked a significant turning point in Sal's life. It was then that he joined the Senegalese Democratic Party, setting the foundation for a career in public service. His rise within the party was steady and sure culminating in his appointment as Minister of Mines, Energy and Hydraulics in 2000. In 2004, Saul ascended to the position of Prime Minister under President Abdoulaye Wade. His tenure was marked by a focused commitment to infrastructure, education and economic development. But Saul's political journey was far from over. In 2012, Saul's steadfast dedication to his people and his country saw him rise to the highest office in the land. He was elected as the President of Senegal, a position he held with honor and distinction for over a decade. Fast forward to today, Sal has made a decision that has piqued the interest of political enthusiasts around the globe. He has announced his intention to end his term in April as expected, a decision that has sparked discussions far and wide. The question on everyone's mind is why? Why has President Sal decided to end his term in April without giving a new date for the presidential election originally scheduled for Sunday? While the answer remains shrouded in mystery, it's clear that Saul's decision carries significant implications for the political future of Senegal. To summarize, President Macky Saul's journey from a small-town boy to the leader of Senegal is a testament to his resilience, dedication, and vision. His decision to end his term in April, without setting a date for the subsequent presidential election, adds another intriguing chapter to his political legacy. As we delve into the nuances of global politics, Saul's story serves as a reminder of the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of political leadership. Whether his decision marks the end of an era or the beginning of a new political paradigm for Senegal, only time will reveal. Until then, we watch, we learn, and we continue to be captivated by the unfolding political narrative of Senegal.